What is going on, what nation? I want to talk to y'all today about a bass bait, a freshwater bait that I have found that is doing amazingly well on the saltwater flats. I cranked my drag all the way down so I could set the hook this time. He nailed it, right, pow! I couldn't get to the drag quick enough. <laughs> so Strike King has got this KVD Perfect Plastics Blade Minnow. This is a jerk bait. It's nothing new in the bass world, but some days on these clear flats, the grass is so bad I cannot throw a jig head, which kind of pushed me over to jerk baits, trying to figure out if they'd work. Well, I tell you what, the results are astounding. So what am I doing? I'm taking a worm hook, a bass worm hook. I think that's about a two aught, and I'm skin hooking it on the side. You'll see me do it here in a minute. But what this is doing is making me weedless. When these flats are this clear, I'm jerking it left to right. It's just gliding along and it is just getting amazing results. They can't stand a blade minnow. That's a chartreuse one. All right, that might be a redfish, guys. So here's me using the screw on style worm hook. It's the same principle, but the triangular shape of that blade minnow gives me almost three surfaces to skin hook on the side. Why do I skin hook? My hookup ratio goes up. There's so little there for that hook to pop out of to give me a hook set as opposed to going all the way through the body and then hooking it on the top. It just works really well. So why is that blade minnow working so well for me on these soft flats? Two reasons. When the water is clear or just slightly off color, it's a very delicate presentation. It floats, it suspends, it jerks left to right. It's a very delicate presentation that they just can't resist. I don't think it would do quite as well in muddy water. Also, number two, it's profile. It, it, that blade minnow is almost the exact size of a finger mullet or a good sized shrimp. Now I'm using a very light rod for this, medium action rod, seven foot, 10 pound braid, 12 max. That allows me to just use the weight of this bait and get it way out there. And then I get kind of a neutral buoyancy flutter. It does not sink. It stays just in the middle of the water column. So where in the Gulf Coast do you want to use this guy? Central to South Texas, clear grass flats. South Louisiana, Mississippi, when that grass is so thick you can't throw nothing, but it's clear, throw this guy. Florida, pretty much the whole state, throw it. We'll catch y'all next time. What?